So today I will use the spray. Uh, this is the called the Design Master to spray over the mum flower. Just to compare with the fit, the video that I did before to see which one is better. Um, I believe the dip is still better because it's dip all the way in. So when you can see, oh, this little petal will cover. Uh, the spray will cover basically more like the outside, the top, but sometimes it, it takes a long time to do it. <laughs> and again, this is the white mom. It has a little bit uh, tip of the lavender on the bottom, but I will try to cover with the spray to see which one is better. And you, you can check it out on um, my other video, the one with um, the different color. I used the, the baby pink color to dip it. So let me start. Uh, doing this, you want to take away from the cement um, any area because the spray might stain the cement or the wall. So I take it outside. It's, this is basically on the ground. I have different colors here. Um, I have the burgundy color with the 713. And this is the lake uh, blue and the purple color and lavender color and the blue color. Let's check it out to see which color it will turn out better. When you do this, you want to shake it up. You make sure the paint is thick. And I did a little bit already, but we can try to do one more coat over. So you want to hold it's about like this far. I would say it's about like 12 inches. You don't want it too close to the flower because if you make it too close to the flower, you basically can burn the flower. And it's not good because the spray, when it comes out, it's really cold. Um, also, want to wear gloves and avoid wearing jewelry like wedding ring. But I'm okay with it. So just uh, this outside because the smell can be very strong if it's indoors. So you want to take it outside. Uh, avoid on the cement or any wall because it can also stand your wall in the cement. So this is the deep cambery color, and it's very bright. Uh, it's look more like a maroon color to me, or you can also call it uh, red white. So it turned out well too. Uh, don't forget that you have to do on the back too. But when you do in the back, make sure to avoid the green area because if you uh, spray the green area, then it will not look real. But as you can see, when I use the dip it, you can see the burgundy around the green area. It's very hard to avoid it. So this is how it looks like. You don't want to touch any other flower. Uh, again, I get it on my hand already. So it's going to take me a while to clean it. Uh, the next one I want to do is the purple color. Again, check it up. You can tell when you're all kind of noisy. I already have some burgundy on here. So hopefully, um, we will cover it. So let's go from the side first. Yeah, it does cover it. Again, try to make it fall about like 12 inches. Now you can go in, sign. You don't want to get it too close. If you practice or if you try to get practice, I'm not recommend to use this. But um, the purple color turned out to be very well. One thing about this, it's when the flower open more, you can still see the white color inside, um, in, in the petal, like that. So again, my favorite thing is still the dip it. It resolve everything. But uh, dip it did not have a lot of color. They are more... I don't know how many color the dip it have, but it's really like a main 7 color. So now I'm gonna do the dip it. my daughter's favorite color so it doesn't matter you do the bottom or you do the top one doesn't matter which one you do first
We use a lot of this blue color because this is like uh, red and white and blue is more like American black color for for any holiday in America. So it's quick, it's really quick and it's look nice, but it's still. If you doing this about like 200 flower or 300 flower, the dip is still faster. And again, like I say, if you really careful, you will still gonna see the white color. But I guess whoever in the flower industry, you can find out that. But if you're not in the flower industry, you don't really <laughs> look into that detail. So now I'm gonna test on the light blue color. <laughs> Really hard to open. So this one is more like a baby blue color. I am not that strong, so if the, the can is you halfway already, it's easy for me to spray, but if it's full and heavy like this, it's a little bit hard to press down. Ah, I really... But this is beautiful. Now, let's try on the light lavender one. Uh, this one I only have a little bit, so I use a lot of lavender for hydrangea. But as you can see, it has a tip of lavender already, so I'm gonna just go through it. And let's try something else today. I'm gonna do a lavender outside, and I'm gonna do the darker purple in the middle. Do the darker purple in the middle. Let's see if I can aim it right. There you go. So now you have the two tone of color. Interesting, huh? I still have a little bit of white, so I'm gonna spray some more lavender to cover it. There you go. That one should be covered. Uh, let's try the purple and the. So what I do is I'm gonna do dark blue. And then I'm gonna do the dark purple on the back and the center. So make sure you aim it right. There you go. So it has two different tones. I can do a little bit more dark. That's cute. Uh, let's try light blue and darker blue in the middle <laughs> light blue it's only the yeah, favorite color you know sometimes if you buy like July 4th and you buy a store and you can see that they have blue color but when you look at it in the bottom you will not see um, they, they uh, when they dip it they dip it and then the leaf is also uh, blue color. Ooh, this was really hard to spray. Like I say, if the bottle is already you a couple of times, it's easier than the new bottle to me. <sighs> I really have to work out. So now I'm gonna do the center. T 
two tone. I kind of like this. Okay. The last one I'm gonna do. See how I say the burgundy color? This is called cranberry. It's really a bright cranberry color. It's not really burgundy, but it's like cranberry color. What colors should I do it? I, I'm gonna do the center with a darker purple to tone it down. You hear all that noise because I'm shaking the can. Look cute. Looks very nice. So after you spray it, you want to leave it outside for a few minutes. Normally what I do, I just leave it outside for 10 to 15 minutes because I don't want to bring it inside and have, and have the smell all over the place. The design master turned out to be very well, but my favorite one is still the divot because the divot will give you more of the natural look and it's less uh, smell and I feel like it's less chemical to deal with. However, with the flower, uh, with the design master, you can also do a different shade. Uh, for example, like how I do, the outside is, is blue and the center is darker blue, or the outside of lavender and uh, the in the middle is darker purple. With different, I haven't found a way to do the center with different color yet. With any kind of flower that you want to spray, you just want to wait it for fully open and then you can spray it. Otherwise, the next day you will see some white color because the flower is blooming. Because the spray is not going to cover all of them. So, wait for the flower to be open and then you can do it. I kind of like the two tone, like this one have the lighter, the lighter blue and then the darker this one too so this is how it looked like with all the mom after I spray in different colors and now I will demonstrate how to spray this with using uh, roses try to spray with the deep blue color this is red blue is the most color that we try to spray because this is for July 4 so I'm gonna test this out and if you can see normally I would try to wait for the flower a little bit open more than this but uh, I can make it open I can uh, curl the petal but I don't want to do that it's gonna look very unnatural so I'm gonna show you this So if you go into the store and want to buy blue rose, it will cost you like 50 something dollars for only a dozen. But um, if you deal with spray, it's gonna look like this. <clears throat> but again, like I say, when the petal open, you will see inside it's more of the white color. Like for example, you can see it here. See? So, <clears throat> so the dip it will cover more beautiful blue rose I'm gonna leave it there and <clears throat> this is a cranberry again I'm gonna try on this one I'm out of the red color but you know if you want to get red rose color basically just get a, like a freedom rose or a sweetheart red rose then you don't have to spray it so why don't I try this color and say this color let's do uh, purple for blue
looks nice and wait for the next video I'm gonna show you how to dye a flower with a full color all right thank you for watching please like and subscribe and comment and if you have any question about this product just uh, comment down below thank you